In a small Zen temple, nestled in the mountains, there hung a large, beautiful bronze bell. This bell had been crafted by skilled hands many years ago, with intricate designs that told stories of ancient wisdom. But despite its beauty, the bell had never been rung. It simply hung there, silent, as seasons came and went, as years passed by. The bell began to feel a deep sense of despair. Why am I here, it wondered. Why was I made with such care if I am to remain silent? What is my purpose if I am never to fulfill it? Every day, the bell watched as the monks and visitors passed by without giving it a second glance. It saw the temple filled with life, with people meditating, chanting, and finding peace. Yet it remained untouched, unacknowledged. And so, the bell's despair grew. One day, an old Zen master visited the temple. He was known far and wide for his wisdom and compassion. As he walked through the temple grounds, he noticed the silent bell hanging in the courtyard. He paused, gazing at it with kind eyes. The master sensed the bell's sorrow, and so he approached it, his robes softly rustling in the breeze. He stood before the bell in silence for a long while, simply being present with it. Beautiful bell, why do you weep? The bell, astonished that someone had finally spoken to it, hesitated before replying. Master, I was crafted with such care, with intricate designs and perfect form. Yet, I have never been rung. I am meant to fill the air with sound, to mark the time, to call the monks to meditation. But I have remained silent. What is my purpose if I cannot fulfill it? The Zen master smiled, his eyes twinkling with understanding. Dear Bell, you believe that your purpose lies solely in making sound. But is that truly so? The bell was confused. It had always thought that a bell's purpose was to ring, to make itself heard. But master, if I do not ring, am I not useless? Purpose is not always about action, dear bell. Purpose can be found in presence, in simply being. Consider the tree that stands tall in the forest. It does not need to do anything to fulfill its purpose. It provides shade, it offers shelter to birds, it stands as a symbol of strength and endurance. It simply is, and that is enough. The bell pondered the master's words. It had never considered that its purpose might be something other than what it had always assumed. But master, how can I fulfill my purpose if I am never heard? Your silence has its own power. It allows the temple to be a place of peace, of reflection. Imagine if you rang out every day, would the monks find the same stillness in their hearts? Your silent presence is a reminder of the quiet that lies within us all, a quiet that is often drowned out by the noise of the world. The bell was silent once more, but this time it was not a silence born of despair. It was a silence filled with thought, with contemplation. As the master prepared to leave, he placed a gentle hand on the bell. Purpose is not always loud, my friend. Sometimes, it is the quiet that carries the deepest meaning. Do not mourn your silence. Embrace it. For in your stillness, you provide a space for others to find themselves. The Zen master continued his journey through the temple, leaving the bell with much to reflect on. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, but the bell no longer felt the heavy weight of despair. Instead, it began to take pride in its role within the temple. It watched as monks and visitors found peace and clarity in the silence it helped to maintain. It realized that its purpose was not in making sound, but in providing a space for others to hear their own inner voice. One day, many years later, a fierce storm rolled through the mountains. The winds howled, and the rain poured down in torrents. In the midst of the storm, a young monk, seeking shelter, stumbled into the temple courtyard. He was wet, cold, and frightened. As he huddled beneath the eaves of the temple, his eyes fell upon the silent bell. In that moment, the monk felt a deep connection to the bell, seeing in its stillness a reflection of his own inner turmoil. Without thinking, he reached out and struck the bell with a nearby mallet. The bell's sound was deep and resonant, 
filling the air with a rich tone that echoed through the mountains. The young monk felt his fears melt away, replaced by a profound sense of peace and clarity. For the first time, the bell had rung, and in doing so, it fulfilled a purpose it had never anticipated. It had offered solace to a soul in need, providing comfort in a moment of fear. But even as the sound faded, the bell understood that its true purpose was not in the ringing itself, but in the silence that followed. The stillness after the sound was where the true peace lay, where the true purpose was found. And so, the bell returned to its quiet vigil, no longer questioning its place in the world. It understood that purpose is not a single act or role, but a state of being, a presence that touches the lives of others in ways both seen and unseen. The bell had found its purpose, not in the ringing, but in the silent presence it offered to the temple and all who entered it. And in that silence, there was peace. The story of the silent bell reminds us that our purpose may not always be what we expect it to be. It may not be loud or grand, but it is always there, in the quiet moments, in the spaces we create for others, and in the presence we bring to the world. Sometimes, the greatest purpose is found not in what we do, but in who we are. Thank you for joining us on this journey. May you find peace in your own silence, and may your presence bring light to those around you. Until next time, take care.